Alrighty, so for now I have done some upgrades to this ship. I've basically restored its missing thrusters and cockpit and stuff. Still missing a couple of guns, but um, there is a business shipment out there, and I kind of want to go try to take it. So, I'm going to grab, if I can get through the door, since that thing doesn't have an oxygen generator on it, I'm going to grab an oxygen bottle. And I put some ammunition on it. already had rockets. Uh, it just needed some machine gun ammo, but we only have two functional machine guns, but that should be enough. Try to back this thing out. See if we can go hunt us a ship. I actually think I'm going to just continue to modify this and probably, like, chop the wings down just a little bit. This seems like a pretty decent little fighter. It's not exactly pretty the way it is, in my opinion, but it's not that bad. And while we're on course, I'll go ahead and deal with fixing our weapons. It needs some batteries or something, too, because I don't think it's quite... Well, I guess it has enough power. I'm not sure what the issue is. My chair is super squeaky. All right, so we're on course. No, we are not. Let's go ahead and turn that off, the stupid thing. Let's go heading there about 70 uh, meters per second or so. We'll adjust our course finer when we get closer. All right, and G. So let's slow down right now because I'm not happy with this. Where's my launchers? How did I do this before? Weapons and tools, there we go. So we'll have rockets be on number one. Actually, let's have that be on number one, that be on number two. All right. So we are armed. Let's close the distance, see what we can do here. I don't think this thing's well armed, the business shipment, but it's a good medium di you know test for this I, I don't th I think the private sale only has like um internal like turrets like anti-personnel turrets this thing I think has some anti-ship turrets on it so it's a little bit more why is it showing the distance twice are there two business shipments here um what is happening why is it glowing Where are the weapons? Well, I think we disabled one of the turrets. Where is this other one? Of course, my aim is off by quite a bit here. Alright, weapons are off. Unfortunately, there's no landing gear on this thing. Wow, I kind of did a number on that thing, didn't I? Uh, there's no landing gear on this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an external view here. We're going to turn off the inertial dampers for now. So we're going to just drift over here real quick. This thing does not have... what's it called on it an antenna either or a beacon all right so what should i do here let's go ahead and just stop dead set a gps waypoint just so we know where the ship is get out and fly over to the business shipment oh god <laughs> my dampers were off so i was like oh, it's too bad we blew up that connector Wow, this back of the ship is kind of, kind of jacked up here. Can I even get in? This part's always hard. Um, why am I grinding a steel plate? I don't know. There's so much like random. No, I don't want to grind a thruster. We need those thrusters. It takes so long to grind the door down. That's one of the reasons I brought my uh my air with me so 
I think what we'll do is probably uh, stop this ship and then we'll fly the fighter back, bring my uh, little skiff out here and deal with this thing. The fighter performed pretty well there for the first time. I don't know. We'll have to inspect it for damage when we get it back. Oh my god, this takes forever. We have to get it down past the computers, that red line. Once we hit that red line, it will actually uh, allow me to re-weld my parts and I can gain control. But Of course, it's good that it takes a long time to do this with enemy stuff, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying. Alright, cool beans. Oh, did I never delete my other waypoint? Huh. I thought I deleted Salvage B. I'll have to do that when we get a chance. <sighs> Cockpit is taking a little bit less time, at least. Now, what I'll probably end up doing with this thing is... Uh, taking the solar panels off, getting it inside of the hangar, and I think I will probably mostly just disassemble it. The solar panels are valuable. There are no traps on these ones, so we'll just give it a stop. All right. That connector kept on flying at 20 meters per second or whatever, so that thing's gone. All right, so how much damage was actually done? We took out... Were these just personal defense turrets, too? Oh, they are still functional. That thing just ran out of ammo, or I took out... Oh, God, that thing's still alive! Damn it. Well... I guess we're flying back this ship. What do I want to do here? Turn off this. Turn on main power. All right, so we'll go probably pick up the uh, the fighter first because I just need to be careful not to get up towards the. Oh my God, this thing. Turns around kind of quick. So I, I'm trying to decide if I want to go for that business shipment with this thing or not. Um, in either case, we're going to be dragging. I think we'll probably just attach this thing to the bottom of that ship. I wish I'd taken out that front turret. That's kind of annoying. I don't think it does much damage even to light armor, so I think we'll probably swing out here and try to capture this thing first. Well, actually, it's going to shoot at my base, isn't it? I don't know. There's another business shipment out here, too. We have to make some more missiles and stuff. The missiles work really good for taking out turrets. I wasn't particularly concerned with how much damage I was doing to this thing either, because I was just trying to capture it. Hopefully this is the yeah this is the one that I had was that I had stopped. I don't think it's moving. As I say, I hope I'm not approaching the wrong one. That would be unfortunate. So yeah, I think that fighter is probably gonna actually work. Why does it glow like that? What does that mean? Very weird. Please tell me I'm not approaching from the turret side. I think I was. Oh yeah, I am. I don't really want this thing to get battled. There's my body. I should probably get my oxygen bottles and stuff off my body if I can. Uh, let's just attach down here. Kind of out of the way. There we go. Um, that's probably going to kill me getting out of this cockpit, though. So let's actually detach and flip around. All right, cool beans. And turn off the dampers on that so it won't be crazy. Did my body drift too far away? Where is my body? Would have been nice to have that oxygen bottle still. I don't want to go up here too far. 
Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to drive this thing back, and then we'll head back out and pick up the fighter. Actually, I see my body there. Let's just turn the ship this way. And I can probably go sneak out there and get that, because the turret is disabled. Well, it's not disabled, it's just not in range. Where... I saw my body when I was in the ship. Oh, there it is. Please don't shoot me, turret. Alright, so we want that. We want that. I guess we'll just take whatever. And actually, I don't need this extra drill. Let's leave the drill with you. Take that. Alright, so how many solar panels are on this thing anyway? One, two, like, an incomplete one there. There's two complete. I probably the same number up there, it looks like. That's not terrible. Oh, good. It has a lot of, uh, what's it called on it? Conduits, like, uh, pipes. Conveyor tubes, that's what I'm trying to say. That is excellent, because I need a bunch of those. That will make it a lot cheaper to deal with stuff. That business ship then is heading right towards us. Where is... Hopefully it won't get within weapons range of my fighter while I'm not there. That would kind of be terrible. So let's go park this thing near the base. I'm going to have to probably, like I said, strip off these solar panels. I don't know... Yeah, it has a reactor on board, right? Control panel. And nothing is controlled by me. It has like a... Does it have a reactor? Large reactor, yeah, it does. So it will stay powered up even if it's on the dark side of the asteroid. And I'll make sure I make if there's any damage to the little tiny ship that I brought with me, I will make sure that that gets repaired too. All right, so we we're flying back with the uh, the fighter. I did not bother um, using a ship. It was only five thousand. Maybe like 8,000 kilometers away. I forgot. I think it was 8,000. So I just went in my spacesuit. It wasn't that far. Uh, we parked the business shipment in the shade here. I'm going to go ahead and grind the solar. I guess it's just telling me that it's an enemy ship. I've never seen that before, but that's weird. Um, anyway, I'm going to grind the solar panels down. And then I'll probably uh, bring the remnants of the ship inside. So I can make sure to take it apart nice and safely. We're going to dock this ship, and by dock, I mean we're just going to park it in here. I'm not going to actually dock it. You know, I never did transfer ownership over. How do I do that? Control panel. I just select all. Transfer owner to me. Yes. There we go. Now it is my ship, and those turrets will leave me alone. So I'm going to make more ammo for this thing. I'm going to take a look and see how badly damaged it is. Does this thing even fit in one of these bays? That would be a good thing to figure out. Of course, this camera angle makes it very hard. Nah. Does not quite fit in one of those bays. So, have to think about that. Uh, I've, I've been considering, like I said, just taking the, the wings down a little bit and reorganizing this. But I actually think this is a good basis for a fighter. We'll just park it here for now. Um, looks like, let's take a look at the damage. If there was any damage, I imagine it would probably be to the cockpit. Doesn't look like it really took any damage. Those were only, uh, really anti-personnel. So I think it's okay. The only thing I don't like is how far out these Gatling guns are, because it makes it extremely hard to actually aim accurately. Um, but, I don't know, having three of them probably on each side probably makes up for some of that. Because we, you know, gives us a almost like a shotgun effect or something. So I might leave it like that. Well, we'll continue to uh, to check it out. Give this thing a few more shakedown cruises. I'm gonna work on covering up some of these vital components too, like all these gyroscopes and stuff that are just kind of hanging out. I don't really get why there's so much important stuff kind of just exposed on it. Like uh, there's reactors and all kinds of stuff that's just kind of exposed on the outside. So. I will probably armor this up a little bit, maybe change the wing shape like I said. 
I'm kind of considering just taking out the third Gatling gun, like cutting the whole ship short right here and uh, changing the wing shape around a little bit. But I'm not sure. Um, all in all, that went pretty well. This ship is worth a decent amount of components. It looks like it's starting to get into the sun, so we're going to have to move it in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this bad boy back home. And did we get any damage on this thing? Uh, a little tiny bit of damage to the cockpit, but nothing too severe. I'll make sure we fix that on dock here. And I cannot get used to how finicky this thing is. It's very uh, maneuverable with all those gyroscopes. I wanted the extra gyros to make sure that it could actually deal with uh, having, you know, large ships and you know kind of keeping them under control but it's a little bit crazy I'll probably end up building a second one of these because when I scrap big ships it'd probably be useful to put one of these on each side to stabilize it because one of the problems I always have is once you uh, start using grinding ships it gets to be kind of hard to keep the, uh, the salvage target from drifting so I will probably do something like that yeah I should put cameras on these things so it wouldn't be so hard to dock. And I am not even in alignment. There we go. Lock her off. Shut her down. Annoyingly, it turns on the other one when I do that. There we go. Just have to go into the control panel. All right, so that thing needs some repairs. I'm gonna keep, like I said, keep working on this ship. I think we are going to continue to use it. And I can't really think of anything else to do right now. I do need to keep working in here. It's uh, kind of getting to the point where I'm out of storage. So I think what I'll do, probably off camera for the next time is get this hallway completed to the second level here so that we can start working on a storage area because it's getting pretty bad. And now that we have that big ship to disassemble, it's going to be even worse. I'll probably put a couple cargo containers just temporarily somewhere so that I can store all those solar panel components and stuff. All right, so I decided to come out here and try to take out this private sale. Um, I'll, I've been working on scrapping the uh, commercial freight with business shipment. That's the one that I already captured. I've been working on scrapping that, but I figured it would probably be a good idea to come out here and take out a private sale kind of thing about using a private sale as a gunship at some point to help defend my construction when it's underway but this one will probably just end up getting scrapped and I should probably take over with the inertial dampers on at about 2,000 meters so that I can try to come in on the side of the turret now I think this thing has a real turret on it like a an anti you know spacecraft turret one of the more powerful ones. That beacon effect is crazy. I guess you don't miss them. So we have fire coming from somewhere. And boom. I don't think that hit. That definitely did. I can see the turret. We lost missiles. Oh god, we're getting shot kind of a lot here. I'm mean, going to kind of use Kentucky windage here because there we go. No idea where those were actually landing. This I think we got damaged pretty badly on that one, unfortunately. All right, are all the turrets out before I get out of here and try to take this thing? I still haven't put landing gear on this thing either. Yeah, you know, the turret's adrift. I guess we actually blew it off the side of the ship. Let's just make sure that it has no other turrets. I think we're good. Alright, so let's park this ship again, as we have been doing. I'm going to get out and go chase this down on foot. Because, again, I don't have any way of actually doing this properly. Leave the inertial dampers on for now. Private sail is, I think, the smallest of the ships. Oh, God. <laughs> Turned off the initial inertial dampers a little too soon there. Feels weird flying without them on. 
Alright, can we just like weld some of this back so it's out of the way? Or we can just glitch through whatever. Same difference to me. So I think we'll probably end up, uh, how far are we away from home base? About 9,000 meters. So I will probably just fly back out here with my spaceship to recover the fighter. I think the fighter got kind of damaged badly on that one, so we'll have to inspect it as well before we uh, go out again. I'm revamping the thing anyway. I'll probably actually do that in the next episode because uh, it seems like it's just a really big target in certain ways. I, I like the design partially, but in other ways I don't want to look at all that debris going. All right, so I'm going to go... Crap, I didn't set a marker for where that ship was, and it doesn't have a beacon on it. Um, hmm. Did not think of that. I didn't set a GPS coordinate this time either. Can we see a ship? So we came from that direction. I'm going to have to come out here and actually search for that thing. At least I put the inertial dampers on, but... Where did I leave it? It is going to be so hard to spot. I need to put a beacon on that thing. I meant to do that. I just totally forgot. Okay, let's just stop dead in space. I said, let's stop dead in space. Uh, the front, I think the front thruster is taken out on this thing. No? Oh, the side one is. Lag spike. Probably loading something big in. Well, that's not great that the side thruster is taken out. We can just do some little spinny spins to try to stop. Uh, we aren't stopping. That's wonderful. Well, this has been a really successful trip. We're going to get this thing close to home base, I guess. And then come out with a little skiff and stabilize it. And then go searching for the other thing. I'm probably going to end up parking this in the hangar right next to the other ship while we're scrapping it. I have no idea where that other ship is. That's very annoying. Totally wish I would remembered to put a beacon on it. I think that's an asteroid. You know, that's an asteroid behind us. There, is that her? That's her. Where'd she go? I saw it. There she is. Like 90% sure that's it. I need to start bringing spare parts out here too so that I can actually, uh, control some of this stuff a little better. If we just spin around like that, it should more or less stabilize us. It's a good trick to know for when you have a thruster go down. If this is the ship, I'm going to go ahead and take it back to home. Yeah, that's the ship. It's yellow. I can kind of see the silhouette here. Glad I found it. Didn't was not sure I was going to find it. So let's actually do our best to stop this thing now. Doesn't matter if it's drifting a little bit, I guess. Okay, good enough. Let's leave it behind. If I can get back out of here. Okay, that's kind of glitchy, but it works. Alright, Mr. Fighter, how bad is it? We can do a little inspection here in space. I'm probably going to like basically redesign the wings because I don't like how much they stick out. It's my main problem with this fighter. Alright, so I saw lots of explosions. It kind of looks like it just disabled. No, I ran out of ammo for that. Got a good amount of damage there. It looks like the armor did its job though. The damage actually isn't that bad. We lost a thruster. I haven't reworked the bottom of the ship yet, so actually minimal damage. This thing fared okay. It lost, lost like a couple of pieces of armor and that's it. 
So I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to drive this thing back, park it, and we'll come back out and pick up the other ship. All right, well, I accidentally bumped that when I was parking this, but that's all right. I didn't take that apart. So um, I think in the future, I'm just going to kind of make a little pad for this fighter here or something. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I do kind of want to, like I said, narrow the wing down to maybe like where those Gatling guns are and maybe mount the guns up higher or something like that. Although I kind of do like the looks of this. I don't like the nose, but anyway, I'm going to go pick up that um, private sale, bring it back. We'll check out its cargo and everything when I bring it home. How much I should check my oxygen before I go. I got 58% in that bottle. Be just fine. I'm just going to take my space suit, even though it's probably not the sort of thing you would want to do in real life, but I don't really feel like bringing an extra ship out here. I really need to make like a de dedicated salvage barge kind of thing so that this will be a little bit simpler in the future. But that's for another day. Got about a million projects going at once here, so. All right, so we have the private sail home. I am going to, off camera, just repair the two thrusters to get this thing stabilized. The bottom and the right-hand side thrusters are both screwed up, so I'm gonna fix both of those. Wow, this thing stops like crazy. Can't believe that. Uh, I guess it is pretty light, and it, it doesn't weigh that much more than my mining ship weighs almost this much, actually, when it's fully loaded of cargo, and this has much bigger thrusters, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But uh, I am going to repair this thing off camera just so it can actually be stopped and stabilized because it's a little crazy right now uh yeah there's not a lot there we go come on if i get it down like two or three meters that's all right i don't really mind it being slightly adrift okay so i am going to go and hopefully not crash this into the asteroid. I'm going to go get those components and get these thrusters up and running. So I think I'm going to end it here for today. Uh, when we come back, we'll probably go ahead and actually work on... What is it? What do these need? Probably go ahead and actually work on that fighter and probably capture some more ships. I'm going to grind down both of the ships that I have here, I think, off camera on my own time just because it is fairly time-consuming and uh, nobody wants to watch that. So anyway... Uh, wow, got a lot of crap here. Let's go ahead and put the bottle back, grab, probably just a hundred of these, get started. So yeah, I'm going to get this ship to a point that it's not drifting away, and then, oh god, it's going to hit the rock, isn't it? Stop. Damn you. Like, one meter per second doesn't really sound like a lot, but it's kind of a lot. <laughs> We need a bunch of thruster components for that one. Where is the other damaged thruster? Well, I guess the solar panel will stop it. All right, so we need a bunch of thruster components and some steel stuff. So anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. When we come back, we'll work on that. Catch you next time.